The president of the Czech Senate and his delegation are leaving Taiwan Friday night after a high-profile six-day visit. Earlier in the day, the Senate president attended a forum in which Taiwan, U.S. and Japanese representatives discussed policy tools for restructuring supply chains away from China. The director of the American Institute in Taiwan, Brent Christiansen, gave a speech saying that the parties attending the forum were linked by shared values that would make them good partners in the post-pandemic economy. Its Minister of Foreign Affairs, Joseph Wu, AIT Director Christensen, Czech Senate Speaker Milos Vistrachil, and Japan-Taiwan Exchange Association Head, Azumi Hiroyasu. On Friday, there was the rare sight of U.S., Japan, Europe, and Taiwan officials sharing a stage during a forum on supply chain restructuring amid the pandemic. Taiwan has demonstrated time and again that it is a reliable partner and a critical player for moving toward a more sustainable global economy. I urge Taiwan to capitalize on the unique opportunity to join the effort to reshape global supply chains for the betterment of the world. Taiwan companies adhere to the rule of law and protect intellectual property. Knowing that we need to end dependence on others to get a head start on national developments, I can assure you that you could not find a more dedicated and determined partner in the democratic world than Taiwan. With the advent of the 5G era, information security is national security. And amid the uncertainties of a world with COVID, countries are realizing the risks of relying too much on a single supplier for critical goods. As a result, many countries are looking into ways to restructure supply chains for technology and medical supplies. But at Friday's forum, another issue was on the mind of Czech speaker Vistra Chil. I must say, I'm no supply chains expert, but I just heard that Czech beer is all sold out in Taipei. Vistra Chil remarked that Czech beer is popular not just because it tastes great, but also because of an optimized supply chain. He said that quality and safety must be considered when building a supply chain and that this could only be done through cooperation. 